Is he gone? Away from me. Found a way out, but we have to go now. Uh, I, I can. Then we'll leave your ass behind. No, we won't. I'm just motivating her. Get up, Kate. He's coming.
Keep going! Hurry up! You all right? I got lucky. Down here, I guess. <laughs> A dead end. Great. Just great. We're dead. We're so dead. I guess this maze was a cute garden feature. Once. This is freaking me out. Listen, there's something I noticed about Jumet. What? Okay, listen, when I was a kid, I didn't speak much. Big surprise. No, I mean, like, at all. They called it selectively mute. Like, I could talk, but I chose not to. And what's that got to do with Dumet? We've never heard his voice. So? One of the things they said about it, the psychologists, was that I was hiding. That I was scared that if I spoke, I would give away my identity. That's the same as Dumet. Obviously, he wants to disguise who he is. No, it's more than that. There's a conflict in his identity. He doesn't even know who he is. It's like he's caught between being two people. Or he's trying to separate the killer from the regular guy he is the rest of the time. Maybe. Well, good thing you didn't become a killer. Give me time. Maybe we can get this thing working. Good morning, Chicago. We begin today with some breaking news. Chicago police today confirmed the body of a man found in a fire at an abandoned warehouse in the Fulton River District to be that of missing FBI agent Hector Monday. Monday has been identified as the shoeshine killer whose recent killing spree struck fear into the hearts of locals in and around Chicago. A spokesperson for Chicago PD confirmed Monday murdered four victims, including yesterday evening police officer Patrick Stanley, a dedicated veteran of 22 years. The fire was brought under control shortly before 5 a.m. this morning. The body recovered at the scene was burnt beyond recognition, but police identified Monday from dental records. Jesus. What are those things? No, no, please, 
please, please don't! 